you want to get arrested? What are you going to do? You're saying you're going to arrest me, Sergeant, if I don't leave the building? You're a tyrant, Sergeant. You know that? You're a tyrant. Your name will be on the civil rights lawsuit. Don't worry about it because you're the one who threatened the arrest. I hope they prevented me from news gathering and, and exercising my First Amendment right and my right of access to that public building. So I would say I was damaged in that way. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today, we're at the Baltimore County Police Headquarters here in Towson, Maryland. We are here today not only to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right, but also to file formal complaints against the tyrant officers who violated my rights at the Baltimore County Government Building. I'm sure all of you have seen that video. You knew we were going to follow up. There will be follow-up with civil litigation. Let's see if we can hold them accountable here. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside right now. How are you, sir? Hey, how are you, sir? Hi, I'm here to uh, file a complaint against some officers and a sergeant about an incident that happened yesterday. Did you want to physically speak to someone? In yes, I want to speak to somebody, either no. internal affairs okay. or, or a supervisor of some sort. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate right. you. Thank you. Somebody left their phone here. Let's do the right thing and give it back to them. Sir, can you come here? Uh, they they ran out so quick. I think they left their phone. Who? I have no idea. Who? I think there was a two gentlemen so that were sitting there? over here. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, no problem. I, I just want I just wanted to make sure they had it. Gotcha. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two officers that were here before ran out so fast they left their phone. <laughs> oh man. Hey yo, don't touch my phone. What? Are you, I was trying to help you. What are you talking about? You left your phone because you ran out. Yeah. What, why don't you say it to my face? Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you do. Come here. You need help. You do. Come here. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Oh, okay. What's no? What's his problem? I was giving you his phone back. What? I need his. I want to now. I want to file a complaint on him. There's no reason. He's trying to. He's threatening to. I mean, but I was just trying to help. The phone was sitting on the phone. You know I know that. <laughs> I was just trying to give it back to him. Jesus. He's just a maintenance guy. Why are you acting so tough, maintenance guy? What is wrong with people? You see what happens? You see what happens when you try and do something nice? He left his phone sitting there. He's like, don't worry about my phone. What? <laughs> what is wrong with people? I hope you guys could see this guy. He just got in the elevator. What is wrong with people? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, sir? I'm here to file a complaint um, for a situation. I'm not sure if you're aware of the situation that the incident that happened yesterday at the Baltimore County Government Building. Um, can I start off with your guys' names, please? Okay, I'm Sergeant Harvick, Baltimore County Police Internal Affairs, and this is Detective Gilmore, Baltimore County Police. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. Okay. Um, with Long Island Audit Inc. Um, I don't, are you guys familiar with the situation? Uh, we are now, yes. We are, yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically my complaint against uh, specifically uh, Sergeant Robinson okay. um, and Officer Banks. There was about, must have been a slow day for you guys yesterday. There's about like seven or six officers there that responded to the... Okay, give, give us just a second, cool. okay? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are going to uh, videotape or audio okay. this video and we're going to audio, okay? Okay, yeah, not a problem. Okay, and I have to do a little preamble. You said your name's Sean? That's correct, ma'am. Okay, what's your last name? Reyes, R E Y E S. Okay. All right, this is a recorded interview with Mr. Sean Reyes. This is Detective Gilmore with the Baltimore County Police um, Internal Affairs, and also present is Sergeant Harvey of Baltimore County Police Internal Affairs. Um, we are audio recording and there is video recording of um, the front lobby of the public safety building where we are doing a, um, an uh, informal statement. Um, Mr. Reyes, if you want to go ahead and again tell me what it is that your complaint is. Sure. So yesterday... Um, sorry, real quick. You are record aware that you're being recorded, correct? Yes. Okay. That, that is correct. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. okay. I have no problem with that. Okay. Um, so yesterday I went to the Baltimore County Government Building to do a PIA request. 
as well as document the inside of the building to distribute it to the public, to disseminate that information to the public. I'm an independent journalist. I was doing an investigative story. Um, the security guards there asked me if I was part of the press when I arrived. I told them yes. Um, they seemed to leave me alone. They started following me around the building, which I really don't have a problem with. They were just getting a little too close. When I told them, listen, you're just getting a little bit too close, They, I guess they called law enforcement. Um, they didn't like that I was recording, so they called law enforcement. The chief of staff for the county executive, I believe her name was Darcy. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure her name. She came down. I spoke with her. She had told me that she started asking me questions. I told her I, I, I told her my name was Sean, and I'm an independent journalist. I couldn't divulge anything else at the time because due to the nature of the investigative story I was working on. And uh, law enforcement arrived. Around six law enforcement officers arrived, and Officer Banks was the first person I made contact with. He uh, told he immediately just went to and escalated the situation instead of de-escalating it, in my opinion. And he went to the security guards and said you want them out of here? And they said, yes. Um, and because the private security company wanted me out for no r good reason, no lawful reason, other than the fact that I was exercising my First Amendment right of freedom of press, he said, you need to leave. So I tried to speak with the chief of staff at that point. And when the chief of staff said, you know, security's in charge of security, I was like, okay, well, but who's in charge of making decisions on why would my rights be violated based on security? So he says, you need to leave now. Or you're going to be arrested. I then go and ask to speak with the supervisor. And he says, okay, the supervisor's right there. The woman officer pointed me out to the supervisor. All this was obviously recorded, and I can hand you over the video if you haven't seen it already. And uh, I went up to Sergeant Robinson, and he had told me that he was going to arrest me. I told him while I was there, my purpose so it doesn't matter that you're lawfully here. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, the security guards, they want you to leave, which I find very concerning that a private security company or anybody can just eject somebody from a public building when they're not breaking any laws. They confirmed to me that I wasn't breaking any laws, and I confirmed to them that I was engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. Um, but he said just because they want you to leave, that, that for, to me, that opens that the ignorance of that office, the sergeant, especially of being a supervisor, Anyone can get kicked out of a building. That would mean for any law, for any lawful reason. I don't like the way you look. You look suspicious. You have glasses on. Again, I, I think that's very unconstitutional, especially when I'm engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. So I tried to explain to the sergeant, try and de-escalate. He said, there's nothing to talk about. I asked to speak to a lieutenant. They ignored my request. The whole time they're laughing at me. They think it's some sort of joke. I'm trying to de-escalate the situation. <laughs> He tells me, you're going to be arrested for trespassing if you don't leave. So under threat of arrest, I did not want to go away in handcuffs and be arrested and sit in a jail cell. Uh, there's other ways to handle it through the court system and obviously through internal affairs. That's why I'm here speaking with all of you. And I didn't leave uh, the state yet. But um, so I left. As I was leaving, um, he tried to, you know, cop explain to me about what I can and cannot do. And I told him you could leave, and I called him a tyrant because I believe he is to be, he is a tyrant based on his actions and violating my rights and him threatening to arrest a peaceful journalist for exercising his rights. Um, as I was recording them, Officer Banks, I was recording him to his car and Officer Banks in public, again, on a public sidewalk, and he said, don't follow, don't get in my face. And I wasn't getting in his face, and he threatened, he said, do you want to get arrested? got really, you know, tough with me and tried to say, you know, you do want to get arrested? Don't follow me. Don't follow me. And, you know, he ended up leaving. The sergeant ended up leaving. And they, like I said, they whole, all six of them thought it was the biggest joke in the world. And they thought it was so, so funny to violate my rights. And that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to get some accountability for that. Okay. About what time did that happen yesterday? I would say it was about around um, two o'clock in the afternoon. And were you the only person there? That I was the only one there, yeah, okay. correct. Okay, can I get some um, identifying information from you, sir? As far as? You're making a complaint, so do you want to provide your name, address? Phone sure, I gave you my name already, okay. and I have no problem giving you That's my... Okay. Do you have a middle name, Sean? You said it's Sean, right? Well, my first name is actually Sean Paul, one word. One word, okay. And last name, R-E-Y-E-S. That's correct, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was there... Uh, did any of the officers put their um, have to put their hands on you in any kind of fashion? Um, the they only no they did they were putting on their gloves and I did make a remark that said you know you sh you're not going to need your gloves I'm a peaceful guy you know we're not going to need to okay. go there and but no to my recollection no one 
put their hands on me okay. other than to, you know, remove me from the building by, you know, ushering me, I should say, out okay, of so the building. Okay, so no one touched your body? No, so you didn't, not that I recall. Um, you no. Didn't have any, um, injuries? injuries? No, no, no injuries. Okay. Do you have a business name for your company? Sure, Long Island Audit, okay. Inc. Okay. And same address and phone number? Or do you have a Same, okay. nope, same. Again, no physical injuries of any kind, but just I would say that, you know, my story was compromised and, you know, I, I wasn't able to continue working on my story. And, you know, they prevented me from news gathering and, and exercising my First Amendment right and my right of access to that public building. So I would say I was damaged in that way. For sure. Okay, so you named um, Officer Banks and Sergeant Robinson. Do you have their ID numbers? Um, not off the top of my head. head yeah, not off the top of my okay. my head, but I, it's all in the video. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. Now, the video that you posted, is there additional video you want to provide to us versus what was posted? Because I think that I just saw it real briefly because mm -hmm. I think you just um, yes. recently put it on your YouTube channel. Is that yes, good? about it, it posted 10, 10 o'clock this morning. Okay. Um, so, there's, there is no additional video of okay. my interactions with police officers. It's... Other than there are cuts in the video, but it's cuts that it's just me walking around. So it's really nothing to do with all my interaction with law enforcement is okay. on that video. Okay. So no additional video. Correct. Okay. Or their body cameras as well. And I have a question. Um, how would I go about um, doing a PIA request for their body camera footage? So the PIA request is done also through um, our legal department and the form is online. Okay. You can fill it out. Everything's on there. It explains exactly how to get the information um, based on the call for service. And that's on the Baltimore County government it website. Is, okay. It is. If you type in PIA request, it pops right up. Okay, and perfect. The form you can, it's like a PDF. You can download it. Oh, so you don't just submit it directly online? I would have I to print it? I don't think so. Because I just, you know, I'm not from here. Well. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I can't answer that question. I'm not 100% sure, but okay. I do know it is there. Um, I can always... Um, I can always There's usually a way to get records from the from, from here, no? In that's, person? That's the same way, through PIA. Okay, yeah, yeah but there's there's no records department here? No, there is. Okay. Um, but it goes to our legal department first for PIA. Okay. They authorize the release of it. So who would I speak to here regarding that PIA request? I guess I just didn't want to go online and take care of it yes, that way. It's it's the legal department. There isn't any one individual that I don't think is assigned to answer those PIA requests. It's just they get them in. But I can speak with somebody people. here. Um, I don't know. Oh. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, you would think so. Because normally in, in uh, police departments when I do records requests or for body camera footage, you go to records, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So there's usually like a records window or something. I don't see that here, but. It's, um. It goes to our legal department first. Yeah. They have to, if there's any information that is not allowed by law, they redact that information. Then Understood. Obviously, um, they have to determine, you know, the purpose of the request, things of that sort. And then they go to the individual units where that information is um, housed. Some okay. Some of it obviously is electronic. Some of it is, you know, in Paperwork. different formats. Yeah. Exactly. Understood. Exactly. So it's all through the legal department. But we'll get you their number um, if you want to. I actually have that if you want to get it. You have it. Okay. It's a... Uh, I'll write it down for you. Or do you have something to write with? Yes. Write it down. It's a four one zero eight eight seven eight eight seven twenty two eleven. Gotcha. I will tell you that um, that CC number, that um, complaint number, that was um, lodged yesterday in reference to the incident you're discussing, hasn't been fully investigated. So I know that they won't release that information until the full investigation is is done. Meaning your complaint. To us as well is obviously part of that investigation. Okay, I'll, I'll just request it, and then yeah. I'll have my I'll, I'll have my it's attorney. An investigation that just started is ongoing yeah. until it's complete. Okay. You can't Seven release some law to an open investigation. Yeah, I'll, I'll have my lawyer whatever the law says on the PA request for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and what I can do is I can email you um, if you like the uh, that request form, um, but it is on our website. I'll email you the link. To okay, it, thank and you. Then you can automatically Perfect. Just Pull it up and again, I'm not sure if it self-populates and electronically 
you know, delivers, but um, I'll also give you the internal affairs complaint number as well as the CC number from yesterday. Perfect. And I just I, there was a little bit of confusion on mine uh, when I was looking at it. Did the police chief of Baltimore County just um, resign or retire, and is there's a new police chief? There is a new, new police chief or a new interim police chief. Yeah. Interim police chief. And that's uh, that was as of yes. And his last name is Delp, Chief Delp? Yes. That's and correct. that was as of yesterday, correct? Mm-hmm. That's correct. I believe so. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I was okay. contacting the right person because there was a female before him. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Any other questions in reference to the complaints you've made? Um, no, you'll just be following back up with me via email or phone? or. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. You may or may not be assigned to me. I'm taking your initial complaint. I understand. Today. Um, so depending upon, you know, who's it assigned, assigned to, exactly. gotcha. No, I understand. I appreciate you guys yeah, coming out and taking the complaint. Have like two or three yeah, sure. No problem. Sorry. Yeah. No problem. When you said <laughs> Officer Banks escalated the situation, can, I know you said he went to somebody else. Can you explain how he escalated? Mm-hmm. All that so, uh, the, the reason I say that he escalated the situation is because when, when I come in contact with any law enforcement, I always ask for their names and badge numbers, just so I know who's there in case things like this happen. Um, and I'm sure it's Baltimore County, just like almost every law enforcement officer's policy, you know, department's policy to identify yourself to the public for these types of reasons. I asked him what his name was, and he was like right there. And, you know, he kind of ignored me. And I think that's escalating the situation, like kind of not identifying himself to me and then saying immediately, not asking me what's going on, not doing any sort of investigate, investigative work on who are you, why are you here, is there a reason why you're in this building, just went straight to security, you want him out of here, you gotta go. Leave now or you're gonna be under arrest. Like there was no investigative work or de-escalation techniques implemented, in my opinion, to you know, de-escalate the situation and figure out why I was exactly there and to, to figure out, okay, let's, let's figure out if he's here for a lawful reason, you know, it's a public building, but no, he just went straight to the security and said, you want him gone? Not even why, not even what is he doing, just you want him gone, he's gone. And to me, that opens up the door a slippery, slippery slope that anyone could be removed from the building just because of how they look or what their beliefs are or anything like that. Okay. Did he raise his voice at all during that exchange? Um, I wouldn't say he raised his voice. I would just say that he did. He he was in. A, he did speak with to me in an aggressive tone, especially when we were outside. As I was documenting them going back into their cars, asking them why why did they do this to me? Why did they violate my rights? You know, he didn't like the fact that I was filming him and, you know, filming him way to his car. And that's when he, you know, got in my face and said, you don't want to do this. Or I forgot the exact words he says, but so the effect of you don't want to get, you don't want to come up on me. And I said, what are you going to do? And he said, you want to get arrested? And again, I wasn't breaking any laws, never broke a law that yesterday. So again, threatening somebody to arrest, that's for not breaking the law. As you know, we have a constitutional right to film the police in the course of their duties. Um, did Officer Banks use any curse words or anything he said that was inappropriate? No, not that I not that I recall. Okay. And do you have a press card or any type like press? I don't have any cards on me. No, I don't have any cards on me. But I told you my name is Long Island Order Inc. No, as far as the incident itself, did you present any type of identification or any type of like press? No, because they did. The chief of staff, no, no law enforcement officer asked me for any. Okay. They didn't ask me any questions. They did, like I said, they did zero investigative work. Um, other than the fact that it just violated my rights. No, the, like I said, no one asked for it, okay. but the chief of staff did ask for it, and I told her I couldn't hand over that information because I was working on my story. Because then if people, now if people know who I, the whole point of me not identifying who, who what company I, I work for is that if I tell them who, who I work for now and that my company's Long Island Audit Inc. and I'm doing an investigative story here, they're going to act differently. And maybe, you know, they're going to be, apprehensive on the fact that okay this guy has a lot of you know followers he has a lot of viewers whatever you want to say subscribers and uh, they're not they're going to treat me differently than they treat an average citizen who which we all have the same rights i shouldn't be treated any differently than anyone else so that's why i don't identify myself is there anything that precipitated um precipitated Is there anything? Other so, than the story. Why, why, did you, why did you pick that building? Why did I pick that building? Oh, no. So I was just there to do a, an information request for the, for the city. And to I just I go across the country. For if you've seen Baltimore my company, Baltimore County. Baltimore County. Okay. Sorry, Baltimore okay. County. Yeah, so I, it, there's no specific reason other than the fact that I go across the, the United States, okay. the entire United States. Was there any 
was there a specific information request that you put in for? Or? Um, I usually, I usually from it's usually the same. I ask for the first last name and uh, salaries of all county employees, okay. the budget. You know, just invest. The, I, I request all the financial documents for the um, for the county or the city or municipality I'm in. No, I think I pretty much covered everything, and the video covers everything in detail. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there, um, are there any questions that we asked you that you did not understand? No, I understood everything. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to conclude. Um, the time is 12.33, and um, I do have your email, so we'll go ahead and uh, I will send you that information. That you Thank you. I appreciate that. Point, okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. If you call that number for legal, they should, any questions that we weren't able to answer for you? They should be able to clear up about for you. PIA. About PIA. About PIA. They have, yeah. yeah. Okay. They may have someone specifically that is assigned that, but I just don't know who that person is. Okay. And that legal department's in this building? We or have is it? County legal, but we also have Baltimore County Police legal. Oh, okay. Legal and you gave me the number to? Police. 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 Okay. Police. All right. Yeah. I just, for some reason, that wouldn't be the correct number. They should be able to guide you to, to the right number. Gotcha. Number. Yeah, There's it's just I just want to. I understand sometimes you, you're not going to release the body camera footage right away. But I just want to get my request in there just so I can get it, so I can see if there was anything said to anybody else that you know might have been concerning. Well, I'm sure you guys will look at it anyway, right? <laughs> That's your job, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. You guys stay safe. Thank you. Thank you for your time. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of the Baltimore County Police Department headquarters here in Towson, Maryland. Wow, so it started off pretty rough when the maintenance man, I tried to return his phone. All I tried to do was return the phone that he left on the seat because him and another officer left the lobby as soon as they saw me. The video has obviously been getting around and people have been watching it and sharing it and I appreciate each and every one of you for that. And he freaked out. I don't know if you guys could hear him, but he freaked out, totally freaked out. Don't touch my phone, I don't need your help. It was very bizarre. People have serious anger issues that they need to work on. You know, there's no reason for any of that. Completely absurd. Anyway, we did speak to two internal affairs investigators here on camera, and we explained to them what happened yesterday, even though it's all on video for the world to see how our rights were violated. The situation was escalated, not de-escalated. We were threatened with arrest, kicked out and removed unlawfully from a public building, our right of access denied, everything. First Amendment rights, horrible. So we were able to speak to two investigators. You know, they were recording audio and visually our interview all I can do say is I hope that they do the right thing. They investigate the situation properly and thoroughly and hold those officers, tyrant officers, especially the sergeant, because as a supervisor, he should know better. He needs to be held accountable. They all need to be held accountable. We are going to be holding this county accountable, my lawyer and I, and all of us, we the people, we're gonna be holding this county accountable with a civil rights lawsuit for a violation of my civil rights. Stay tuned to the channel. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I will be providing updates as we go along. You guys know me, I'm not gonna let this go. We're gonna follow up. We will be back in that building, the, go the Baltimore County government building that we were banned from unjustly. We will be back there celebrating our victory together. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.